They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and place them both in mine. You know you stopped me dead while I was passing by. After this, I will immediately go there. Don't worry. Okay, Kate is already here. You hung up the call and get inside to your boss office. You were talking to your friends a while ago since you three have a plan to hang out. Sir, this is the documents that you're looking for. He didn't answer you. He just nods and continued to work. Goodbye, sir. You are about to go out when Junko call you. Miss Yang, you can't go. Sir? I mean, why? I will treat all the employees for dinner, including you. But sir, why? I have planned already. What plan? A date? No, sir. Good, then cancel that and come with us. You greeted your teeth in anger because your boss always ruined your plans. So you just say, yes sir, you have no choice but to call your friends and tell them about your situation. You are working as Jungkook's secretary for 6 months, but until now, you really can't understand him. He is a very mysterious person. His birthday about his family is secret. He is a moody person and even weekend, he is still working together with you of course because you are his secretary. And the worst is he always go home late every day but he wants you to be there always. Everyone is in their middle of dinner. When Franco asked Jungkook if they can order a beer, Jungkook told them it's okay but has a limit since they have work tomorrow. And everyone agreed on it and start drinking. You are sitting in the middle facing at Jungkook. He noticed that you already drink two bottles. Miss YN, that's enough. Last one, sir. You snatch the one bottle from your co-worker and drink straight. Are you okay? Micah asked after Soya leaning your head on the table. You didn't answer her. Miss Wyan, are you drunk? Jungkook asked. Still, you didn't reply. But then all of a sudden, you raise your head and stare at Jungkook. You, stupid boss, you said while pointing at him. Your co-worker quickly covered your mouth because you keep cursing at him, but Jungkook tell them to let you go. You stand up and going to him. You look around but there is no vacant seat, so you pull Jungkook's chair and sit on his lap instead. You, I really hate you. You said while well, everyone's mouth open hung, they can't believe their eyes that the quiet YN became monster when she got drunk. Miss YN, you are just drunk. Let's go, I send you home. Shh. I'm not drunk. I'm not done. What I'm saying is, you are some moody person. Look, if you want to work in the weekend, it's okay, no problem with that. But work alone without me. I miss my parents. I want to see them. But I need to work even weekend. You don't miss your parents? You said while pinching his cheeks. Sometimes, sir, you are okay. But sometimes, I really want to put you in the sack and draw you to the river or feed you to the crocodile.
But uh, it's okay since you are hot, right? You've said while touching his chest as you wink at him. Brrrr, so hard! You said while squeezing his chest. Do you understand what I'm talking about, right? Yes, Miss YN. Good! Hear that? He understand me. You said to your co-worker that is staring at you. Okay, since you understand me, I go home now. You stand up and kiss Jungkook forehead and say, I love you, sir. You will start to walk, but you just fall down. Good thing Jungkook caught you. Miss Wayne! It's okay, I will take care of her. Jungkook took his card and gave to Franco. Guys, just enjoy. Franco, pay it later using my card. I will send Wayne home. Yes, sir. Franco replied and the other employees are thanking him for treating them. Jungkook just nod and carry you. Wow, what was that? I think YN might lose her job after this. I think that too. The next day. You wake up when you suddenly feel thirsty. Ah, my head! You open your eyes and look around until you realize that it wasn't your room. Where am I? Why I can't remember anything? Shoot, what happened last night? You check your body and you're perfectly fine. You quickly stand up and slow get out from your room when looking around. Whose mansion is this and why I ended up here? You slowly walk down the stairs afraid of being caught by the owner of the house. You will smile when you saw the door as you quickly go there. I'm glad you're awake now. You got the startle on that familiar voice. You slowly turned around and saw Jungkook leaning on the wall, crossing his arms while staring at you. Sir, morning, sir. Morning. Don't tell me you're going home without your shoes. And saying goodbye. It's not like that, sir. I'm just roaming around. I cook soup for your hangover. Come with me to the kitchen. Yes, sir. You bite your lips in embarrassment and follow him. Eat this and drink this medicine for hangover. Thank you, sir. But how I ended up here, all I remember, I drank two bottles of beer in the restaurant last night. You got drunk and fainted. I want to take you home, but I don't know your address, so I have no choice but to bring you here. Sir, I didn't do anything stupid, right? No. Oh my gosh. Thanks, God. I thought I did something wrong, but why all of a sudden you treat us last night? Because it's my birthday. What? You should tell us, sir. By the way, belated happy birthday, sir. Mm. You look around until you saw a picture frame. It's Jungkook with two people. Sir, who are they? You ask. He looked at the direction that referring to and reply, They are my parents, but they already died five years ago. I'm sorry, sir. It's okay. So you live here alone in this big mansion? Hmm. 
since I have no siblings. I have maids but they already just here every weekend to clean the house and leave after that. After you eat, I send you home. You don't need to come to the office. Uh huh? Oh, wait! Am I fired? No, I mean just rest today. I know you have a headache or hangover. I thought he is a bad person, but I'm wrong. I felt guilty towards him. Is this your house? Yes, sir. You want to come? No, next time. Just rest and come on time to the office tomorrow. Yes, sir. Thank you again, sir. He smiled and left. You throw yourself into your bed when you realize something. Maybe the reason why Junko came to the office even weekend because he is lonely in the mansion. Or because he thinks of his parents when he is alone. And maybe that's why he always came home late because he doesn't want to think he was left alone. I have no idea that he is an utter little orphan. I felt sorry for him. Okay, from now on, I'll be nice to him. Meanwhile, at your office, the rumors started to spread that Jungkook already fired you because of what you did to him. The next day, you came to the office and everyone got surprised because they thought Jungkook already fired you as you entered to his office. Good morning, sir. Morning. Sir, this is for you. You said while giving him a cup of coffee. Why? he asked. It's my peace offering, sir, you added. Sir, please stand up. He was confused but still he stand up as you hug him tightly and tap his back. I know how you felt, sir. I'm here for you. From now on, consider me as your family. It's okay to cry if you're in pain or you miss your parents. Promise, from now on, I'll be at your side, sir. You suddenly felt wet on your shoulder. Then you hear him crying. You continued tapping his back until he felt better as he broke the hug. Thank you, Miss YN. Welcome, sir. Just call me if you needed me. Mm. You will smile and walk going out from his room. But before you reach the door, Miss YN, next time don't drink too much, okay? I will, sir. Should I tell her what she did the other day? But I'm sure she feel embarrassed in front of me. Ha, <sighs> whatever. Yeah, did sir didn't fire you? And why she's going to fire me? Because of what you did to him when you drank. What are you talking about? I asked him if I did something to him. He said nothing. Nothing. Okay, so what is this? Micah took her phone and showed it to you. Your eyes poke out after saw the video of you when you got drunk. You started to cry in embarrassment. Should I go to Mars now? The end. If this has many views, I make a second part. Thank you for watching, Kubi!